Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial today for Windows 10 on to defragment and optimize your drives. Now, you can get to this option one of two ways. I do have a tutorial on um, my channel called Windows 10 Settings, also known as God Mode, Mode. And this makes one folder with all available settings. So if you're interested in doing that, I'll have a link to that in this tutorial. The other way to get to the defragmenting for your files is to click on your start menu and just start typing defragment and you'll notice that up here at the top you'll get the choice to do it and you'll click on it like that and that's where we will um, be able to defragment and optimize our drives. I do however want to get back to show you how um, you would go about it if you do happen to make the um, God Mode folder. The reason that I like doing that is because when you do the search up at the top, you have to know what it is, what term it is that you're looking for to get the option up. So at least in God Mode, you can see it has all of um, the settings descriptions all laid, say that, laid out for you. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to um, show you once you make the God mode you're going to have this icon on either on your desktop or whatever folder you decide to put it under called custom controls and when you click on it this um, folder is here now and it has basically all um, of the settings and they're categorized as well. So you've got your administrative tools, which is where the defragment and optimize your drives is under. And so that um, just makes it easier than having to remember what you're going to um, type in here to get to. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. You can, if you're interested, then you can go into um, the tutorial on my channel and make yourself the God mode um, folder with all of the available settings in Windows 10. So let's just get back to fragmenting and optimizing your drives. Once you've made that folder, then you would come into your administrative tools and you would click on the defragment. So this screen will pop up and what you want to do is you'll want to look here at the current status. These are all the drives that are available for you to defragment and you would just either click on them if you're a mouser or you can use the arrow keys to move up and down and you'll notice that the status says 1% fragmented 0% fragmented so it is suggested that if they're more than 10% that you will want to optimize your drives and fortunately what Windows 10 has um, done is They've scheduled optimizations. So um, basically the frequency for mine is weekly and they're being auto automatically optimized. Now that may not be the case for you. Um, I, I would think that it is, but if it isn't, then you would go into the change settings and here you would click. If you didn't want it to happen, you could click it off. If you do want it to happen, then click it on. And then the frequency, you can have it happen daily, monthly, or weekly. I have not been interrupted with this at all, so I think it's a good idea just to keep it on weekly, but that's your choice. And this is where you would choose the drives as well if you wanted to. Um, for the, for the weekly um, scheduling, you would just click on it and um, check them all on on or off according to what you want then you would press the OK button because I haven't changed anything mine is grayed out but if you did want to uh, change it and not have it automatically and do it manually then you could just click this off okay so um, again I my choices have already been made so my OK is grayed out you will have to restart your computer once you press OK so that the change takes effect. Okay, so we'll just go back um, to here. Now, if I wanted to, let's say that this was over 10% and I did want to, um, to optimize or defragment this drive, then 
it is suggested that you click your analyze button first and right now it's analyzing it and it's saying that it's six percent fragmented so I am not at 10% so there is no need to um, optimize but let's just click on it so that you can see what happens if you do if you optimize now it's going through and it's optimizing and it probably won't take that long I haven't actually sat and watched this happen before so this is actually probably a good process to watch happen since it is a tutorial and um, you'll know that what you did is not causing any concern for you um, that it's happening. So I'm just gonna let it play out. We see here where it says last run that it's running, so. And you can stop it at any time here as well. I should add that if the drive is being used by another program or is formatted using a file system other than NTFS FAT or FAT32, it can't be optimized. So um, also network drives cannot be optimized and if the drive does not appear under the driver list, if you can't see your drive here, then basically it might be because it has an error. So you'll want to try and repair that drive first and then optimize it. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is just stop this for now and I'll keep track of the time and let you know how long it took to do that. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Okay, so um, everything is done and um, obviously I wasn't having any issues but just for the sake of making the tutorial I thought that I would uh, let this run through so that you can see what happens and then you would just close out and um, restart your computer. Okay, so I hope this helps someone. Have a great day.